Welcome back to your review for Algebra 1 Semester 1 Final Exam. Um, just a friendly reminder that the number in the front might not match the number on your paper, but you probably have a problem that does match this. So just use the numbering on YouTube and you should be just fine. So um, we have an inequality to solve here. And remember, inequalities are just like equal signs, right? If we didn't have this less than sign, we could have just treated it as an equals. And we use generally all of our same rules. The first thing you want to do when you're solving an equation is, and I guess I should rewrite this here, um, is we always want to try and simplify each side. Now when I say side, I mean here is one side, here is another side. That inequality sign is splitting it. There's nothing I can do to simplify 15. That's just going to stay 15. However, there is a little bit that I can do to simplify our left side and in particular we have our like terms 3a and negative 6a don't forget that negative in front and 3 minus 6 well that's going to give us negative 3 of those a's and there's still a plus 3 at the end from here we're just trying to isolate a and our first step is we want to undo any addition and subtraction so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides we end up with negative 3a is greater than 12 and then last but not least the negative 3 is multiplying by a, so we're going to undo that by division, and we end up with a on the left side, and 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4 on the right side. There's only really one main difference for solving equations versus inequalities, and that main difference is going to show up right now. Our main difference is that whenever we multiply or divide, and I'm going to write that for you, so multiply or divide by a negative number, and notice we did divide by a negative here then you need to flip the inequality sign. So, because I did divide by a negative, I need to flip the inequality from a greater than to a less than, and we've now found our answer. A is less than negative 4, which is C. You could have also tried to check that too. You could have tried a number smaller than negative 4, like maybe try putting negative 5 in here, and I think you'll find that your answer is bigger than 15. Um, or you could have tried a number that's bigger than negative 4, right? Maybe make sure that D is not the right answer. You could have tried something like 0. And if you put 0 in, it's going to cancel this and cancel this and leave you with 3. Is 3 bigger than 15? Nope. Also, D definitely didn't work. It still has to be C.